Once again, for all our viewers joining in to Vion at this hour, news coming in from Pakistan, where the Pakistan National Assembly is holding its inaugural session. In the latest coming in, the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz and the Pakistan People's Party have joined hands to form the new government. And this after the February 8th elections did not produce any decisive victory for any one individual or party. And to discuss the latest, our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik is joining us live from Islamabad. Anas, uh, lots of um, action happening in the National Assembly as we speak. Tell us what's the latest, especially given the President's tone and tenor in this matter. Well, the 16th Constituent Assembly of Pakistan, the National Assembly, has taken oath. Priyanka, where I'm standing behind me is the National Assembly of Pakistan. And for the benefit of our viewers, I'll just get aside. There is increased security presence. The hall that's there, that's behind me, is where the currently uh, the National Assembly session is ongoing, where the members are currently signing the roll book. Uh, that basically uh, enrolls them formally into the National Assembly. Now, uh, who, who, among who, who have signed includes, includes Asif Ali Zardari, Mia Mohammad Nawaz Sharif, uh, Bilal Bhutto Zardari, Khwaja Asif, Sardar Ayaz Sadiq. Uh, in a short while, we'll be hearing from the Assembly Secretariat as to who all have submitted the Speaker's nomination. Currently, the session has been chaired, but before that, uh, we've heard quite a lot of sloganeering on the part of Sunni Tehad Council, which is backed by the Pakistan yeah, 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 Tariq and yeah, yeah, Saf uh, uh, led uh, uh, back independent candidates. And uh, uh, they were chanting slogans seeking the release of Imran Khan, the deposed prime minister who's currently incarcerated. Uh, they were chanting slogans against Nawaz Sharif. Uh, there was a lot of sloganeering when we, when we saw Nawaz Sharif entering into the assembly after a period of about six and a half years. The last time Nawaz Sharif was inside this very assembly was in July 2018, uh, 2017, uh, pardon me on that. Uh, and after that, he was ousted from power uh, in that Panama judgment. So this is the first time that Nawaz Sharif is back into this very hall that's, be that's behind me. And what, what it looks like it's going to be Quite of a, uh, a quite of a journey ahead for the uh, new government or the government elect, as and when they they're elected into power, as and when the leader ho is, uh, of the house is elected into power, because the opposition there is co going to be quite robust, uh, fearful, fearless, and quite in numbers as well, Priyanka. Right, Anas. What can you tell about tell us about the way forward for Pakistan when it comes to governance? When will this new government be set up, uh, especially given the new alliances being formed? Well, procedurally, uh, today is the oath, and then after the oath, uh, we, uh, just a short while back, as I said, we heard from the Speaker of the Assembly uh, that said that uh, the nomination papers for the new Speaker and the Deputy Speakers are being submitted. So we heard that. So t tomorrow is, in all likelihood, will be the uh, uh, election of the Deputy Speaker and the Speaker. That will be through a secret ballot. Only after that, uh, will be the nomination papers for the leader of the house that that is equivalent to the prime minister will be accepted and we're expecting the uh, the election of the prime minister to be held now on the third that's on sunday instead of the fourth that was earlier being dubbed as monday so by next week early next week we'll be seeing that a functional a uh, government is there, an elected government is there in the country with an elected prime minister at the helm of it, which will of course be uh, encountering the biggest challenge of econom economy uh, with Pakistan's economic conditions at uh, an all-time low. The country is battling with an economic crisis. They have to go to the IMF. So the challenges will be at hand. First, the economy and of course the cabinet formation as to who gets to negotiate with the IMF as well, Priyanka. Right, Anas Malik, our Pakistan Bureau Chief. Thanks so much for all those updates and thanks for joining us on Beyond at this hour. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.